I ask for the truth on behalf of Samantha Bowie concerning relationship issues and uh, her fiancé. I ask this in the name of truth. Right conduct. Peace, love and non-violence. Blessed be to the truth always. Just cut the cards for you there, uh, Samantha, and then we'll uh, just uh, place them to the side here. I'll deal out three cards. Um, the first card we deal is in the, the possession of the past, the recent past. This should appear in a time between now and this time last month. The next card is the present, and then, of course, the immediate future goes here, the immediate future, that'll be in a period of time between now and this time next month. I suppose you, you, you could say it's a moon phase behind and, 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 uh, and, and a moon phase ahead, isn't it? Uh, on, on, on that score. So we'll just uh, straighten, straighten that up for you so you can see them a bit better. And then we can see what's going on. First of all, I'm going to part the, the, this card here, which is the first one, the recent past influence. This is what's been going on just over the past three or four weeks for you concerning your fiancé and this relationship situation. Um, looks about right there with the menstrual, the energy of the menstrual just indicating really that... Um, you should have been saying is saying it as it was or as it is, as as, as, as you could say. Um, I got this sort of sense as though really um, you should be letting your intentions be known in that in in that regard. Um, maybe he should have been doing as well, and because nobody exactly knows what the other one wants then he, we're all assuming that we want this, we're assuming that we want that. And that may not necessarily be the case, uh, as one must not assume. Let's just see what's going on right now though, let's just see what energy's vibrating there, and try and join it up uh, to that. And you've got the unicorn there, a good looking friendship uh, is surrounding you right now, so even if uh, there are issues with the fiancé, which uh, it looks as though there might be, to a slight degree. Uh, nevertheless, you've got your friends to 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 support you there, um, and 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 that 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 uh, that helps, doesn't it? Uh, and notice there, uh, although I suppose it's more of a bluish thing, the greenish tinge I'm sensing there, the, the green of the heart chakra. So there's a lot of passion being put into it right now. But it's the fact that um, he should have been really saying it as it was or as it is. Um, when there's a problem, they usually ask you whoever, if you make a complaint to the authorities or whatever or anything like that. They usually say, what is it you want from this? And this is what you failed to do, uh, to say what you wanted from it. But of course... Maybe other other people around you, i got a sense as though other people around you seem to know what it is you want, or to their best of assumption anyway, although we must assume. Now that's made, maybe their assumption is better than yours, because they're viewing it from the outside, aren't they? They're viewing the situation from the outside, but of course the mask of the harlequin there just indicates really that uh, true feelings are going to be masked in the immediate future so because you didn't say what you wanted um, you're not going to say how you feel neither because you don't know what to feel because you don't know what the other one it's it's like as I'm sort of getting either side doesn't know what to, the other side is, is you know what the other side is feeling so best to put on, on an act or best to put on a mask and, and, and not reveal how we really feel because if we, we did that, it would be over. These cards have spoken. <laughs>